All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is AB and I'm here to help you learn English. I know how frustrating it can be to learn a new language. I'm a polyglot living here in Australia, meaning that I speak English on a regular basis. When you're on your way to becoming proficient and fluent in the language and you just don't know what these phrases, these common phrases that native speakers say. So today is all about the three common phrases that English speakers use. These will make you sound like you know what you're doing. And most importantly, when you hear them in the first place, you're not gonna get confused by them. So the first common phrase that a lot of English speakers use is beating around the bush. When I first heard of this saying, I honestly did not know what they were trying to say to me. But in a nutshell, beating around the bush means you're trying to say something, but you're taking way too long. Either the topic is uncomfortable, Maybe you're trying to lie to someone or you're just not getting to the point quick enough. And then someone says, hey mate, stop beating around the bush and say what you mean. That's an example of it used in the question. Now, you will come across this, I don't know when, but when you do come across it, just understand that you probably need to get to the point a bit quicker, just like me right now. Number two common phrase that a lot of English speakers use is this one. I can't wrap my head around it. Now, at first you're like wrapping your head around what? Doesn't make sense? Of course it doesn't. But what they mean in this sort of phrase is that they can't fathom, fathom is a big word, they can't understand what is going on. So when someone tells you a story that just sounds completely bonkers and just unpredictable, you can kind of say, mate, I cannot wrap my head around what you just said. Okay, so it's utter confusion. So use this when you're utterly confused about what something someone is saying. Now, the third common phrase that a lot of English speakers use, especially here in Australia, is this one. Your guess is as good as mine. Now, this one is actually similar to the second one, but this one is a bit like you're deliberating with a friend and then they go, your guess is as good as mine. So it's a topic that both of you guys just can't seem to understand or figure out or nonetheless, you know nothing about the topic. So you're both like, hey man, your guess is as good as mine. So you just don't know. So that phrase there is super useful, especially in social settings or in our meetings and conversation where you're just trying to go, hey, I'm collaborating with you right now, but look, your guess is as good as mine in regards to this topic. So let's find another solution. So super useful if you're in collaborative environment. So. Just to recap from the very top, number one is beating around the bush. You're not getting to the point fast enough. Number two is I can't wrap my head around it. This one is utter confusion. You absolutely, it's a bonkers story. You don't know how to follow it and it's just uncontrollable. Kind of like Amber Heard's stories. You can't wrap your head around them. They're insane, her shitting on a bed. Excuse my French. But anyway, the third final one for this recap is your guess is as good as mine. It's kind of like the second one, but it involves being around in a collaborative space or you're working with people and you're like, hey man, one plus one, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> but you get the point. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. I just wanted to make this just a quick video to help you, something a little bit of fun that you can use in your English speech straight away and make you sound like you know what you're doing. If you like this video or you've got other phrases and common sayings in English, type it down in the comment section and uh, I'll be there replying to your comments. And as per usual, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.